Alright, for this video, we'll be replacing this front speakers. So I got here the Massive Audio TOY 6K 6.5 inch speaker. And it's actually a Toyota OEM drop-in component kit and it's actually a plug and play so it comes with a tweeter and a tweeter uh, crossover filter and i mean, don't actually know what it's called so uh, tools we'll be using is some pry tools some 10 mil Phillips screwdriver a cutter and some masking tapes so let's go on and replace the speakers first we're gonna remove this door panel and we're gonna start with the door lever Behind the door lever, there's a cover, so use your pry tool and pry it out. Next, we're gonna remove the screw with a Phillips screwdriver. Now on the bottom part of the door handle, you will see a cover. I'm gonna use this flat screwdriver and put some masking tape in it to avoid some scratches. After prying it out, you will see these two screws and simply remove it with a Phillips screwdriver. Prepare a rag or a yoga mat to lay down the door panel. Now we pull out the edge of this door panel to pop out the pop clips. So I like to start in the inner side because it's much stable. And there will be two more pop clips around the middle. And now to remove the door panel, we just pull down the bottom part and lift it up. Simply like that. Now on the top portion, you will see the hardware for the lock and the door lever. So you simply just want to unhook it by moving it on the side and lift it up to unhook it. And just behind the power window controller and the courtesy light, there will be some connections too. So simply remove the couplers for this. So I don't have the courtesy light because I have the base model. And with those, con and with those connectors removed, now we lay down on the mat. Now sometimes there will be some pop clips left attached on the door panel so you simply just remove it and install it back to the door panel. And now for the door speaker, simply remove the connector connected to it on the top. And now we simply unscrew the three screws right here to detach it from the door. And now we simply do the other way around for the new speakers. So we just make sure that the orientation is correct. So this portion where the open end is, this has to go to the bottom and the connector to the top. Now for the door lock and the door lever, the black one goes for the door lever and the one with the white end goes for the door lock. Now to install the door panel back, it's better to find the alignment by this edge of the door window. Now 
while the door panel is attached, you simply install the screws on the door handle. Now let's move to the inside and masking tapes on. Now grab your pry tool and simply pry from this edge right here. You will see that this part of the speaker mesh will have a large gap where you can pry in. After removing this mesh, careful not to pull so much because the tweeter is attached to this mesh. Now give it a 180 degree turn and you will see the connector on the back. So simply remove this coupler right here to deattach the tweeter. Now this tweeter is only held on by these clamps right here. So give it a little tweak to uncap it out. And now we install the massive audio tweeters on this mesh. So you did clamp in there but you will see that it is a little big for this mesh to hold on but it is still clamped so it will not go anywhere. Now on the crossover cables you will see that there's an indication saying tweeter and the line input. So let's connect this side to the tweeter. Now for the harness connected on the original tweeter, it's actually a 4 wire connector so I had to check which ones do we need to use. So after doing some checks, the first one away from the lock of this connector is actually the positive one from the head unit and the third one is the negative. The second and the fourth goes to the speaker on the door. So we're gonna have to find a way to tap both positive, the first and second and the third and fourth. So I'm going to be using this T-Connect for now and um, find what part number this connector for the tweeter is so we can have a clean install.
So I did forgot to mention that you should always check if the speaker is actually functioning before installing all the panels back. Now to avoid unwanted rattling sound, we're going to be installing this tape. Just to be sure, you can use an old sock or a new one to tuck in the cables to avoid those unwanted rattling. And after that, we simply tuck in the sock and install back this top mesh. So that's the install for one side and you simply do the same on the other side. So that's it for the install and now let's look at this product. So this is the sock tweeters and this is the massive audio tweeters. So just look at the difference right there. And this is for the stock 6 inch and as you can see the magnet is so small. But comparing it to the massive audio one, man it's just so uncomparable. So I got the weighing scale to find out. And I'm not sure if all the Toyota drop-in speakers or plug-in play speakers would work on the GR86 and BRZ, but maybe it's a 90% fit. So there you go guys, I really like this speaker and um, sorry if I couldn't show you some audio clips. So that's it for today and hope to see you on the next one.